Hello everyone, this is Vaishnavi from Informatica GCS. In today's session, we shall learn how to use SFTP GET in file processor in cloud data integration. First and foremost, what is file processor? So, in IACS, file processor connector is used to securely transfer files from one location to another. Use file processor connector to transfer files regardless of size and location. File processor connector performs different operations such as uploading files to an FTP or SFTP server or downloading files from an FTP or SFTP server to a local file system. So today's agenda is uh, we shall cover how to transfer files from a remote server to a local system. That is we are going to download some files from a remote server to our local machine and for this purpose we are going to make use of SFTP GET operation in file processor. So we shall discuss the steps to make use of SFTP GET. Here are the steps to make use of SFTP GET. The first step is to create a file processor connection. Next, we need to create a mapping or even a data synchronization task such that the source is file processor and in the target transformation provide a dummy target. Provide the following filters in the source filter as shown in the image. And the last step would be running the mapping. So in the demo, I will also cover like why I mentioned dummy target and also what these filters are. Let us quickly go through the demo. First, log into IACS.org and create a new file processor connector. Here, I have already created a file processor connection. Provide a connection name and in the type select file processor as the connector type. Next, we need to provide runtime environment. I have selected my secure agent as runtime environment. Then we need to provide source and target file directories. Here source directory is the remote server path from where we are going to download the files and target file directory is the path where we are going to place the files. So this is the actual path where the files are getting downloaded and not the dummy target which we provide in the mapping. To provide source file directory, I am making use of WinSCP tool. I have logged into my remote server using WinSCP and here is the remote server directory path. So in this path, I have created three text files and we are going to place these three text files into target location. So one can easily give a right click over here and copy path to clipboard. This copied path can be used in source file directory. Please make sure if you are using correct slashes in both source and target file directories. Next we have select file. Here I am using all but based on your use case you can select a file or a set of specific files which you want to transfer. File pattern. This is nothing but the pattern of files which you want to transfer. If we select all over here this file pattern field is not applicable. Desk calculation. Use this field if you want to select files which are created or modified before or after a specific date. Next we have passkey1. Provide the password which you use to log into your remote server as passkey1. Next test the connection. As the test connection is successful, we can go ahead and create a mapping. Navigate to data integration server and create a new mapping. In source transformation, let us give our file processor source and select a file processor connection which we have just created. Select SFTP get. In query options, 
Select filter and click configure. Click the plus icon. Select SFTP user ID. Mention the username of your re remote server. Click enter. Select one more field called SFTP port. As this is connecting to SSH, it is 22. Select SFTP password. As we have already given the password in passkey1, provide passkey1 here. Select one more field called SFTP hostname. Provide the hostname of your remote server. Click OK. Now we have configured all the filters as shown in the figure earlier. Now select target transformation and provide any target as this is going to be a dummy target. I am selecting my flat file connection. Click save. And run. Go to my jobs and select the mapping which we have run. It is a success and we can see the three files are placed into the target. Now let us check the target directory if the three demo text files have been placed correctly. This is my target directory and we can see the three text files have been placed. This is how we make use of SFTP GET operation in file processor to download files from a remote server to a local machine. In the demo, we have successfully made use of SFTP GET operation to download files from a remote server to a local machine. Here are few points to remember while using SFTP GET. In the connection properties, we need to provide the password which we use to log into the server as passkey1. In this demo, we made use of password as passkey. However, one can make use of private public keys while downloading files from a remote server to local machine. Use the password or public private keys as passkey, but not both. Ensure the source and target directories provided are correct. We recommend you to copy the path from the remote server and paste it directly to the directory path. After the mapping or synchronization task is run, the files are placed in the target which we provided in the connection properties but not the target which we provide in the mapping. Here I have provided you the file processor product documentation which explains in detail the connection properties. Also file processor is not only used to perform SFTP GET but there are also several other operations like SFTP port, FTP port, FTP get etc. There are various uses with file processor connection. 
and it's not just for transferring files but it can be used to move the files, copy the files, encrypt, compress, decompress files as well. So please go through this documentation. We would love to hear from you. Please write to us at supportvideos at informatica.com or in the Twitter handle mentioned. That's all for today. Thank you.